So far, we are still eagerly awaiting the animated sequel Minions The Rise of Gru, which has been postponed several times and is scheduled to hit theaters next July. Universal Pictures and Illumination have now jointly announced that they are already hard at work on further sequels from the Minions universe. Accordingly, the fourth part of the Despicable Me series around the villain Gru is already being planned. However, the movie will not be released for over two years on July 3rd, 2024, certainly with great hope on the part of those responsible after the first three parts have crossed over 2.5 billion US dollars worldwide. Director Chris Renault, who also supervised the first two movies, is responsible for the suitable realization, while the script will be from Emoji Movie author Mike White. Illumination is also working on another animated movie called Migration, which is scheduled for release in June 2023. It's about a duck family that wants to spend the vacation of a lifetime together far away from home. Director John Turtletop scored a real hit in 2018 with Mech. The blockbuster about the extinct giant shark Megalodon was able to convince viewers worldwide with sometimes simple but still captivating action. The hype around Mech 2 is correspondingly great, where we recently received further information about the cast after a long period of silence from the responsible parties. According to this, in addition to the returning lead actor Jason Statham, we will also see the two Resident Evil Afterlife stars Sienna Galori and Sergei Paris Mancheta, as well as American Horror Story actress Skylar Samuels. The latter will play an adventurer, while Paris Mancheta will portray a villain and Guillory scientist. Not much is known about the plot so far, except for the somewhat meaty title, The Trench. This this is a possible hint that the main actors will go even deeper into the sea, possibly to encounter much more alarming creatures than the already gigantic Megalodon. In the novel by Steve Alton, the scientists discover a Chronosaurus in the second book, also called The Trench. The prehistoric monster, which can be over 10 meters long and weighs 11 tons, is equally likely to cause terror and could outrun the Megalodon. By the way, the director in the second part is no longer John Turtletop, but Ben Wheatley. When exactly Mac 2 The Trench will be released is not yet known. After we already got early glimpses of certain outfits and scenes by various toymakers in Spider-Man No Way Home, it seems to be similar for the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder. In particular, the focus is on lead actor Chris Hemsworth and his two colleagues Natalie Portman and Christian Bale. The two high-profile Hollywood stars play the characters Mighty Thor and Gore the God Butcher. Pictures of Bale as Gore are scarce at the moment, but Bale could be seen in public at times last year with a bald head, which probably has something to do with his new role. A Lego set of all things now gives us a glimpse of Gore. In the accompanying article from Screen Rant, we see the figures Cork, Valkyrie, Mighty Thor, Thor, and the God Butcher himself. The antagonist wears an almost all-white robe and his famous all-black the neck sword, which gives him almost overpowering powers. Collider also reported on a lot of new toys from the Hasbro company. Again, the simple-looking figures reveal more than meets the eye, as they seem to reveal, among other things, what Thor's destroyed hammer Mjolnir is all about. We see deep cracks in the material of both the mighty Thor figures, accessories, and the actual plastic Mjolnir, which leads us to believe that the hammer was patched up after the events of Thor Ragnarok and is now available to mighty Thor. Alongside her, we also see Thor and Cork, as well as the official Stormbreaker toy. We're definitely excited to see what the characters look like in the finished movie, and of course we'll keep you updated on more Thor Love and Thunder news. The release of the movie is scheduled for July 8th, 2022. Disney's next MCU movie, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, will finally be released in theaters in May. Especially after the second trailer, which was shown for the first time at the Super Bowl, many fans can't stop speculating. In the original version of the second trailer, for example, you can hear a voice that sounds suspiciously like Patrick Stewart as Professor X. When asked about the trailer, Stewart denied his involvement, saying it wasn't the first time others had imitated his voice. This statement was somewhat confusing. After all, it was actually certain that Stewart was on board as a member of the so-called Illuminati. Ryan Reynolds was also asked whether the X-Men, and especially he as Deadpool, would not celebrate their MCU debut in the Doctor Strange sequel. He himself also affirmed, like Patrick Stewart, that they're not involved in the movie in any way. Is this the biggest bluff since Andrew Garfield's denial of Spider-Man No Way Home? Or is Disney really trying to pull the wool over our eyes with a fake Professor X voice? We'll probably only find out when the movie is released on May 6th, 2022. 
Last year, The Tomorrow War was the first collaboration between Chris Pratt and Amazon Prime Video. As has now been officially announced, Pratt's next Amazon project has already been given a new start date. It's a thriller series, The Terminalist, which revolves around Navy SEAL Commander James Reese, played by Pratt, and his squad during their mission in Afghanistan. After a Taliban ambush, nearly the entire team is wiped out while Reese returns home severely traumatized and wrecked with guilt. He later realized that dark deeds are probably behind his fate and are working against him. In addition, to Pred, other stars on board include Taylor Kitsch as Ben Edwards, Constance Wu as Katie Baranek, Riley Koch as Lauren Reese, and Patrick Schwarzenegger as Donnie Mitchell. The Terminal List is scheduled for release on Amazon Prime Video on July 1st, 2022. Fans of Netflix mystery hit Stranger Things have had to be particularly patient in the past concerning the new season. Now, however, there's finally reason to rejoice. As the two Stranger Things creators Matt and Ross Duffer recently announced in a letter, the fourth and presumably penultimate season will soon be released. The two brothers who first presented their successful series on Netflix in the summer of 2016 explicitly emphasized the planned end. The story arc has been complete for many years and has since been limited to four to five seasons. Apparently it should remain that way, which should prevent unnecessary delay of the plot. Season 4 will be released in two parts, one after the other on Netflix. The reason for this is the significantly longer running time compared to the predecessors, which will nevertheless only spread over nine episodes. Overall, however, they are stuck off a runtime that is almost twice as long as that of the previously released seasons. In terms of content, Season 4 picks up chronologically from the events of Season 3 and takes almost six months after the Battle of Stockport. The team group consisting of Dustin, Lucas, Will, Mike, and Elle must cope for the first time with the fact that they are separate from each other for a large part of the time. In addition, they later have to face a new threat from the outside. Also included is a rather creepy house, which we could already see in the teasers and trailer. As main actor Gabe Matarazzo also confirmed, the new season will be darker and scarier than ever before. Stranger Things fans can look forward to not only many familiar faces, but also a few new actors. Among them are, for example, Freddy Krueger actor Robert Eglund as the crazy Victor, Creel Eduardo Franco as funny pizza boy Argyle, and Jamie Campbell Bauer as psychiatric nurse Peter Ballard. By the way, on a recently published image on the Twitter channel of Stranger Things, you can see a mysteriously designed poster in addition to the start dates. It starts with Season 4, Volume 1 on May 27th, while the second part then appears on July 1st, 2022. In the gaming world, Fallout has been a household name for almost 25 years. Now the franchise could also manage to conquer the hearts of fans in a series. So far, nothing new, but after many months of uncertainty, we finally know the first actors sign on for the Amazon project. The talk is of Django and the Hateful Eight actor Walton Goggins, who is to play one of the yet unnamed main characters. The series will be produced in collaboration between Amazon and game developer Bethesda and written by Westworld writers Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan. It is also also Nolan who will direct the pilot episode of Fallout, while Geneva Robertson Warwick will serve as showrunner. In terms of content, the Fallout games are primarily about a post-apocalyptic world in which you as the protagonist have to achieve your individual goals depending on the story. In the latest installment, Fallout 4, for example, you play a character in the year 2287 who is searching for her son and has to go on an odyssey. In an earlier installment, Fallout New Vegas, the plot revolves around a courier who, in search of a stolen platinum chip, gets to know various factions of this so-called wasteland and experiences all sorts of wacky things. The mixture of black humor, crazy game world, and a multitude of iconic characters could thus be excellently transferred to a series, even though the expectations of the gaming community are often rather low when it comes to game adaptions. Nevertheless, we are still eagerly awaiting news about Amazon's Fallout series, which unfortunately does not have an official release date yet. If you enjoy our news this week, be sure to check out our latest original on The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. There you'll learn all about the details that can be seen in the first trailer and the possible plot of the new Amazon series. We also recommend the new trailer for the upcoming animation movie, The Bad Guys on our channel.